Deborah Creech, Allendale Airport Manager, calls the Allendale County Airport a gem. Its newly upgraded runway is just shy of 5,000 feet and can accommodate aircraft from prop planes up to 15 to 18 passenger jets. With almost 3,000 visitors arriving annually at the airport, Deborah says it takes partners to make the airport so successful. And there's a lot of collaboration with the county, the city, the South Carolina Aeronautics Commission, the federal government. You want to speak to that? Yeah, because we have a project that we're going to do right now, which is a reconstruction of our apron and our taxiway that leads to these hangars. <laughs> and FAA, South Carolina Aeronautics, and our county, the three of them together, has put in a pool that we can get this done. And it's really beneficial because it also brings more pilots in because they are more comfortable because they love a good place to land. Right. And they want to know that planes are safe too when they're landing. In closing, you were in the entertainment business. Your, your father was a, a very famous singer and now you're in the airport business. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, are, do you have as much passion about this as you do about your father and his business? Yes, I love it here. I love the environment. It's serene. It's peaceful. I meet great, I mean, I meet great people, yes. you know, and they're so friendly. Yes. And it's, it's a loving job. So Very I love good. it. Thank you so much, Deborah Creech, Airport Manager for <laughs> Allendale County Airport. The Hampton County Airport is situated between Barnville, South Carolina and the county seat of Hampton. The local airport has continued to grow and is now estimated to generate $3.4 million in annual economic activity. Now, Because of low fuel costs and tea hanger and box hanger rentals, pilots find the airport convenient for both recreation and business. Listen as airport manager Dobie Hires shares with us the tremendous value the airport provides. And you provide a courtesy car for folks That's to correct. come. That's right. correct. They a lot of them come when they come in from north to south. They stop by here and get fuel. Right. Because right. a lot of the bigger airports, you know, it's hard to get in and out. Yep. But we set out, you know, with the hangers and wound up building twenty mm -hmm. super T hangers and two corporate hangers. And they opened in 2021. Fantastic. With the first uh, lease plane come in in 2021, uh, October of 2021. Very good. Dobie Hires with the airport here in Hampton County. Chuck Platts has joined us now. He is a pilot and actually flies this plane for the forestry department. And um, it is housed right here in Hampton County. And that's very convenient for you, yes. right? And yes, it is because uh, with, this is the area we serve. Um, we have aircraft scattered around the low country. We have one in Beaufort, one here in Hampton, and one in um, Orangeburg used for fire detection and suppression. And you also are a pilot for other planes. Tell yes. us about that. Yes, uh, well, I, I fly corporate aircraft as well. I work at uh, Flight Safety International. That's Gulfstream in Savannah mm -hmm. as an instructor at Gulfstream. And I fly for a corporation in Orangeburg as well. Okay, and do you do some flight instruction here yes. at the Hampton County Airport? Yes. Do some limited amount. Yes, I do some biennial flight reviews and uh, instrument proficiency checks and things like that. And I do some checks for the Forestry Commission as well. So, Chuck, why is it important to have these smaller rural airports in the low country of South Carolina? Probably, How does it contribute? Primarily because we don't, we're not near any large commercial airports. We have a long way to go to get any kind of aviation resources unless we have this. The nearest major airports, as I'm sure you're aware, are Hilton Head, Savannah, Charleston, mm -hmm. Columbia, which are a long way away from here, more right. than an hour right. driving. So it gives us these facilities nearby. If we have an, a fire, for example, in the right. Hampton, mm -hmm. Allendale, Bamberg okay. area, we have an aircraft right here to go work those fires. So when you say work the fire, tell me more about how you do that. Um, well, primarily we use, we use detection. We look for fires, oh, for okay. smokes, and we go check and see if it's a wildfire or a control burn. And if okay. it is, in fact, a fire, and they send resources, yep. tractors and, and mm -hmm. um, uh, foresters to the scene, we can assist in directing the equipment from the air because we have a much better observation point from the air than they do from the ground oh, wow. uh, to tell where the fire is in relation to where the equipment is and where the personnel are. So have you been a pilot your whole life? No, not my whole life. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but uh, for last, you start about flying? 35 years ago. About, th about 35 years? Yes, that's a, yeah, I'm, I'm a little older than that. <laughs> right, a little bit, just a little bit. Thank you so much. Chuck Platts Thanks. here, pilot here at the Hampton County Airport. Thanks, Chuck. You're welcome.